Hello, Lakewood families. Well, here's my first video message for you guys. This certainly is new technology for me, so we'll give it a whirl. I need to tell you that I have been praying for you guys a lot lately. I've spent time focusing on the truths of God, that God doesn't panic in the midst of this chaos. There is a lot of chaos going on out there, isn't there? Is there, is there enough toilet paper on the shelves? Is there milk out there? How are we gonna school our kids at home? There's a lot of panic out there, but let's focus on God's truths. God is peace, God is sovereign. And you know what? God knows all that's happening. In fact, he already knew all about it before it even started. So when you feel your heart starting to become anxious, just remind yourself of the truths of who God is and whose you are. Now, I'm sure that you have found yourself in this crazy upside down world just as I have. And after spending the last week trying to find, to drink from this fire, ho fire hose of information, both from the CDC and the Minnesota Department of Health, as well as from a limitless supply of ideas and resources from children's ministry people, I'm exhausted by the world we find ourselves in and by the possibilities that are out there. I think I've finally begun to get a grip on the new landscape around me. So I wanna take a few minutes and share with you and reach out to my dear Lakewood Kids families to let you know what the current plan is for Lakewood Kids as we are social distancing from one another in the coming weeks. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I know that you are inundated with a lot of ideas, materials, resources to use, and guess what? I don't wanna to add to that pile. Let me say that again. I do not want to add to your pile. Here's what I do want to do. I want to continue the things that we've been doing in Lakewood Kids. I want to continue our Lakewood Kids mission and vision, which is reproducing faithful kid followers of Christ. Because I believe that God has called us to partner with families to help our children know the word of God deeply and the Lord Jesus personally, and to grow in their relationship with Christ and with others, and to show God's love as they go and as they serve. So how will Lakewood kids do that during this unique time? Our situation remains very fluid in the days to come, but here are the current plans for Lakewood kids. First, for Sunday school, for as long as Lakewood is digital, we're going to deliver Sunday school digitally as well. An email will be sent each week that will have a link to a video lesson. Home guides will be posted and emailed out to you. This is the partnering with families part that I talked about. I'm going to post the materials to you, and then it will be up to you to use it. Clubhouse. Each week, we're going to videotape the week's lesson and post it to our YouTube and our Facebook, along with sending you discussion guides. Watch for these on Wednesdays. We're going to keep posting these lessons as long as church is digital. Marco Polo! Okay, one of the biggest losses that we're feeling right now is connection. Marco Polo is an app that I'm recommending we use to keep our connections strong during this time of social distancing. I'm going to be working with our teachers, our small group leaders, to help them become familiar with Marco Polo. Disclaimer, I am new to this app myself. However, lots of kids ministry peeps are really familiar with it and talking about it a lot so I want us to try it out and use it to keep our connections strong. It's easy to use, so let's use it. And lastly, Zoom. Here's another technology that I'm new to, but I see great potential here. I'll be using Zoom to gather people together for various reasons. Teachers coming together to learn new ways to stay connected with their kids. Parents coming together to calm their anxieties about 
Wait a minute, I never wanted to be a homeschooler. Maybe a small group leader could host a Zoom with their few to talk about the clubhouse lesson. Or a Sunday school teacher could host a Zoom to talk about that week's Sunday school lesson, or even just how their week went. Watch your email box for Zoom invites. So that's what I'm doing to keep Lakewood kids moving forward. What can you do to help? Well, first, make sure we have accurate email information for you and for others that are part of Lakewood Kids. Second, follow our Facebook page. Go to Facebook, look up Lakewood Children's Ministry. This is going to be one of your main sources of information moving forward. Second, you can join the Lakewood Kids Facebook group. This is a closed group where we we will have more freedom to share pictures and stories and stay connected in a more private way. Last night, my kids taught me how to open a YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, look up Lakewood Kids. Uh, There's not very much on there right now, but that's where we're going to be posting the videos each week. So check out our Lakewood Kids YouTube channel. And get connected and stay connected. Use Marco Polo. Let your kids use Marco Polo. Join a Zoom session when it would be helpful. Suggest topics that would be helpful for me to address. You know, we don't know how long we're going to be a digital kids ministry. So let's learn things together. If I can do this, I know you can too. If you are great at digital communication, would you be willing to teach someone else? Would you be willing to help Lakewood kids enter the digital communication era? Let's stay connected, whether you use a new platform like Marco Polo or an old one like a telephone. Let's make sure we stay connected while we're socially distant. We are Lakewood kids, the body of Christ. Let's make sure we are growing in our relationship with Christ and with each other. See you next time.